Hello everyone, this is Chris Conkle Vlogs. Uh, I'm Chris. Thank you for uh, watching my latest video on the uh, University Hospital and the University of Alberta uh, engineering campuses and the research uh, in health uh, sciences specifically. Uh, the, uh, these facilities, all that I have worked on since being in Alberta uh, in 2005, uh, starting right here with the Mazinkowski Heart Institute uh, with Ellis Don. Uh, I was working for Baytech Stucco and Drywall. Uh, I was doing the exterior, stu exterior steel stud framing, sorry, uh, in the in the drywall, the fire uh, fire rating, with the fire caulking, um, and uh, we, we it was amazing. We did it all off the swing stage, and uh, so yeah, I was literally hanging outside the building the entire time. It was uh, very cool. Uh, Six hundred thousand square foot, uh, one hundred and seventy million dollar hospital. Uh, or at least addition to the hospital. You can see the corners right there. Uh, I remember I, I actually got in there and framed those entire corners. I uh, framed the entire top part there and I framed the entire top uh, by the Louvre uh, all the way there, all the way down there. And uh, of course I did all up the brick side is there as well, uh, which is really neat. Uh, I did the segmented walls at the top and uh, they were specifically neat because uh, uh, while I was framing it, the uh, Stars helicopter was literally landing down beside me while I was hanging outside the uh, <laughs> on the swing stage, right? Uh, no, this was a really cool project. I was on it for about a year. And uh, I'm going to show you a clip uh, coming up right away. Um, I did this uh, one section right here, and it, it was the same spot where the, uh, the man lift was, right? So it was a very, very, very tight spot. And uh, the, the uh, man lift operator and myself, we were in constant communication on radio. And um, it, was, uh, yeah, it was very cool, very, very cool. Um, didn't drop anything on the man lift, which is good. So yeah, you'll see right here. Yeah, I'm gonna go look up. There's actually a, a photograph I can't find, but I was hanging off the very top, uh, and I shot a photograph uh, all the way down the angle. I uh, wish I could have found that for this video, but uh, I wasn't able to. But look at the ACM panels. Uh, it was igloo uh, erectors on the this cladding job, and the the framing that I did, I had, like the framing had to be perfect uh, for the uh, panels. So. Uh, it was, uh, but it was an awesome job. It was my very first job in Edmonton, my very first really big commercial job. Uh, I showed you guys the uh, parkade here because uh, Elston also had to build that parkade. Uh, and I actually stuck into the, inside the hospital and shot uh, Mr. Walter McKenzie right here. Um, the, the, he's the guy who the Heart Institute was named after. Um, I'd love to do some history on him, but I, I was going to do more shooting, but um, I didn't really want to disturb the hospital, right? Uh, so anyways, this is what I call the DNA clinic, um, but really what it's called is the uh, Edmonton Clinic uh, Health Academy. And why I'm showing you this one is um, I was working in this job for nine months doing the uh, light wells and atriums. There's two really big atriums and three light wells. Uh, each light well had um, a really cool, uh, like an like a oval type of, of ceiling, whereas the two atriums had two big, big rectangular uh, ceilings. So what I, what I was charged to do, I was up there doing all the steel stud framing, the drywall, and um, all the preparation for this really nice wood panel. Uh, would have loved to do the wood panel, but no, I did all the steel stud framing. Uh, I did all the steel stud framing up the walls. Uh, it was very, very cool. It had to be perfect. We had to do uh, framing for the trenches for uh, mechanical and stuff like that. And wait till you see the, the pictures at the end of the video. Uh, I've put all the pictures from when I was working on this job uh, at the end of the video to show you uh, how awesome uh, it was and I, I couldn't, I tried to get inside the building but it was all locked up. Uh, they w wouldn't, um, I couldn't get access to, sh to shoot the, the light walls and atrium so what I did is I put the pictures that, from when I was actually working on the job at the end of the video uh, so you can see those. Uh, it's really really neat. Um, nine months, I went through six different partners. Um, but I completed from start to finish all these light walls and atriums. Uh, very proud of it. So if you ever get a chance to look in there, uh, it's pretty cool. It's very, very cool. So yeah, that cost $425 million and was 55,000 square meters. So uh, here I'm showing the old hospital, but this is cool. I wanted to do a, a circular because uh, uh, like a 360 shot because I also did two floors in this uh, center, which was the Cates Group Center for Pharmacy and Health Research. Uh, there's a $25 million renovation. Um, the the drywall in this place, it, it wasn't crazy. I had to cut everything perfectly around, like all the pipes and electrical and mechanical stuff, and caulk it. Like it was, it, each different pipe and type of thing, like penetration, had a different uh, 
uh, width you had to, to cut around it. So for caulking, right? It was so wild. And this is the Van Valet complex. Uh, I actually estimated this job, or I put a bit in for uh, thermal systems on that job, but uh, we didn't win the job. Uh, the, this CSIS, this is what we call CSIS, the Centennial Center for Interpl Interdisciplinary Science. Uh, so on this job, I was working for QSI Interiors and uh, just doing the interior still stud framing and drywall. And it was really, really, really cool because of the atrium. Um, not only that, but Dialogue had designed this building to fit in a very, very tight space. So it was really, really neat. Like, look at these sunshades. Like, everything is engineered to um, uh, to take on natural light through the day and stuff like that. It's really cool. And once um, I actually got, I went inside to film the atrium, uh, even for, even on this video. So wait till you see uh, inside. Uh, if you look right straight up to the Q deck and uh, the top uh, light wells, there's some kind of reflector pads or mirrors or something like that to reflect the sight sunlight downward, which is really, really cool. Uh, I had to do a close-up on these sunshades. It's just outrageous. Uh, there's glazing outside of glazing with the sunshades I've seen. Here you go. There's a uh, there's the ceiling up there in the CSIS building. I have all those reflecting panels that that shoot the light downward. It's just incredible. So this is uh, a faculty of engineering for both uh, or sciences for both students and faculty. Uh, just like the ice building, I'm going to show you next. Um, this is just a beautiful. Uh, that was a beautiful atrium. And it's so massive and it just fit in to, like there's all these buildings around it and these old beautiful buildings so and none of it was disturbed uh they just put this building and then there's another building called the the ice building which i'll show you next that just fit right like look at the size of it it's massive right um do i have a square footage on that one this the ceases building uh I, I don't but it's the first of its kind in canada and uh, one of just a handful around the world uh, the CSIS represents an interdisciplinary approach to scientific discovery that facilitates a cross-fertilization of ideas and techniques as never before established scientists interact with a new generation of world-class researchers and, and outstanding students sharing sophisticated tools and state-of-the-art facilities. I don't know, I might have stumbled a little bit too much, but uh, these are really cool projects and um, the, uh, I think this one here too, ice was this built by uh, Elliston? This was Elliston too. So the Mazankesi Heart Institute, and then this one was uh, also by Elliston. And I and I worked on both jobs, uh, and doing the steel stud framing and the drywall. Uh, this one I was doing the exterior walls as well. Um, I actually shot I got a lot of pictures of this one too from uh, the cranes that we used, the mobile cranes to, to hoist up the glazing and something. That was incredible, right? Um, but this is uh, 14 floors. Uh, dedicated to both faculty and students, uh, grad students representing all disciplines in the School of Engineering. So, uh, $110 million. And it's another building. It's just, there's so many buildings around it and it just fit right inside. And it was really, 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 really neat project. Uh, I cannot believe how much money the University of Alberta and the University uh or the university hospital like just incredible research in science in edmonton it's just is this city is is about engineering and science i'm telling you uh look at that this i had to shoot because it's an art project um this is also just around the courtyard of the in the university there, just straight across from oh, uh, the CSIS center but uh, this is the uh the dna clinic the uh, edmonton uh the Edmonton Clinic Health Academy, sorry. Uh, like I said, this is the steel stud framing. And you could tell, you could see the, the heaters in the back. So we had to frame for the heater wells and um, look, look at the drywall in, in and around the I-beams. We uh, nine months to frame these walls and look at all the, the framing and drywall. Uh, you could just see, I spent uh, nine months to do two atriums, three light walls. And the scaffolding was in every single uh, every single one of them, the scaffolding, all the way up. So we were on the top of uh, the scaffolding. There's my two buddies right there, Chico and uh, the one of the laborers. But uh, anyways, yeah. So here they started taking down the scaffolding. The panels are on, the white panels. And then you can see right there, see the oval? That's a light well. Uh, it, it's obviously, it lets more light in. There's more glazing. Uh, it's just incredible. So I did all the T-bar. I did all the drywall, taping, framing. Um, I did everything but the actual wood part. Uh, but I, I, I had to make sure everything was perfect. Elevations and and the and the walls I did. See, this is an uh, this is an atrium. Uh, the walls that I did had to be perfect for those panels, right? And if you were able to get in there, you could see you could look up and see the uh, the panels hanging on the outside. But 
anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I really, really, really appreciate all the uh, support. So make sure you subscribe and like. And I'm going to do so many videos. I got, I have, I've got worked on a ton of projects. And I love construction. And this is just a few of a uh, whole lot of awesome projects around Edmonton. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Love you very much. This is Chris from Chris Model Blogs. Bye for now. Be safe, guys.